Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of TBC Tech. Now, today we're not gonna do, be doing anything computer related. Today, we're taking a trip back to the 90s, to the arcades, to all that retro gaming goodness. I mean, you know I gotta represent. So, let's talk about the Neo Geo. wanted more power, arcade-like four-dimensional graphics, and 15-channel stereo sound. Neo Geo is no stopping snuff. Okay, so if Neo Geo isn't synonymous to you whenever it comes to retro gaming, that's okay. Neo Geo was more of an arcade system. Here I am, peoples, just hanging out at the factory where they make these Neo Geo multi-video systems. Now, what these things are is that you can play four different games on this machine. More than a console system. Now, they did have their own console system, the AES, but when it came out, it was the PS3 of its day. It cost entirely too much, really didn't have great game selection, and the games themselves were absurdly expensive. But just like the PS3, if they were games that you were interested in, they were top echelon. This was literal arcade conversions. They were one-to-one, -one, and they were awesome. Speaking of the arcades, their arcade system, the MVS, was the predecessor to the AES. Now, the MVS system was unique in that it actually used individual carts, much like a game console, which I think is where they got the idea to downgrade it into an AES system to sell to the home market. But these things were awesome. It was the only ones of their kind at that time. You, you wanted a new game for your arcade system? Well, you don't have to go and spend five grand. You go, you buy a new cart, plug it in, boom, ready to go. Now, for me personally, my story with the Neo Geo, I really didn't pick up on their games until they released the Neo Geo Pocket. It's here, the revolutionary Neo Geo Pocket Color. With 16-bit power, linked to the Sega Dreamcast. Revolving joystick. 146 color display. Six cool styles. The graphics will blow you away. Full micro switch joystick, great selection of games. Hell, Sega even partnered with them at the time to release a Sonic game, and it had interconnectability with the Dreamcast, which, if anybody knows anything about me, me and the Dreamcast, we're bae. So then why am I sitting here babbling about the Neo Geo? Well, much like Sega, Neo Geo got on the bandwagon of the mini consoles. And I couldn't help myself. Say hello to the Neo Geo Mini. This thing is adorable. I don't even know how I can express how cute this little thing is. It's literally a little arcade system that you can hook up to a TV, and it's got its own controls, and this thing's awesome. And this is what we're going to be taking a look at today. So let's get it open. Now, if you can't tell, this is one I was excited to get my hands on. Now, this is the international version. This thing has had more releases than I care to think of. There's been special editions, there's different regional versions, and all of them have a different set of games. Now, I held off on picking this up because whenever it came out, it was kind of prohibitively expensive. I think it launched at like a hundred plus dollars. And I just couldn't really, with these mini consoles, 60 bucks for me is like top line. Like I really can't see spending more than that because now you're getting into retro pie territory, which we'll talk about one of those someday. But, at that point, your price to performance, it starts getting uneven. But this guy, I was actually able to pick up for $29.99. Oh boy, $30? You better believe I jumped on that immediately. Jump on it! Jump on it! Jump on it! So, without further ado, let's get this thing open and take a look and see what we've got inside. Now, as you can see, we've got our little Neo Geo Mini console here with our OG Neo Geo logos. See here, you've got the cute little arcade thing going on. We've got our list of games here. What do we got? Uh, okay, again, keep in mind, this is the international release. We've got Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, 3, X, 4, 5, good lord. King of Monsters 1 and 2, Sengoku, Magician Lord, Blue's Journey, Shock Troopers. Okay, I'm not going to read all these off. Um, King of Fighters, we've got 95, 97, 98, 2000, 2002. Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury. Ooh, Garu, Mark of the Wolves. That's a good one. Uh, Samurai Showdown. We've got two and four and five special. Okay, whatever that is. 
Uh, let me see, other, any other ones? Ninja Masters, that's a good one. Blazing Star, and a couple other ones thrown in here. But for the majority, it's primarily fighting games. And that is for good reason, because in an arcade system, you're going to have a lot of good fighters. And thankfully, a lot of them have made it over to this mini console. Not to say that games like Metal Slug aren't amazing, but fighters were what Neo Geo was known for. All right. Ooh. Lid taken I just can't get over this color scheme. I just, I love it. All right. We've got our Neo Geo manual, 40th anniversary. Instructions, cute little book. I think we'll manage without it. Got our box of accessories. Now, one thing I have to mention that there are versions of this that come with secondary controllers. That is not what I got here. This is the main console only, no extras. Break it out of the plastic here. Ooh, look at it. Look at it. It is so cute and tiny. Ooh, it's analog. Oh, now, I didn't look up any reviews of this. I was kind of hoping it'd be micro switched. But it's, it's an analog stick. It feels nice. It, it'll get the job done. Start and select buttons, A, B, C, D. Got our cute little marquee here that I'm sure there's probably stickers for somewhere. Power button on the back, HDMI out, DC in, and headphone jack. Ooh, and as I was talking about with the secondary controllers, you can see here where you can actually plug a one player in and a two player. So you can play right on the console without having to hook it up to a TV. Although I'd imagine that that's probably kind of a pain to do. Now I'm sure that this comes off here, but we'll come back to that because I would like to not destroy it immediately. <laughs> and you guys have seen me at work. I can destroy things very quickly. All right, what do we got here? We got our USB-C cable with a little Neo Geo logo there on it. Now that's nice that they included. Oh, we got our stickers. What do we got in here? I'm out of there. Come on. Release me. Release me, demon. All right. We got a little Neo Geo sticker there. Neo Geo SNK. And we have a Neo Geo Mini with the King of Fighters. And Neo Geo Metal Slug 2. Now, what's interesting about the way that they set this picture up is, as I was talking about before with the SNK systems, this is how they would set up the marquees because with the cartridge system, there would be multiple games in one arcade unit, so that they would have interchangeable displays like this, which is a cute carryover for the Mini. Okay, so the question is, do we go multi-cade, or do we do King of Fighters? Ah! Ah, oh, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. But you know what? Uh, it's so hard. It's so hard and difficult. It's so hard and difficult. Can't help myself. I got to go with the multi-cade. So let's take that off there. It'd be nice if these were like little plastic plates with like magnets on the back so you could change them. That'd be nice. Oh, look at that. First try. I think it got a little crooked. That's okay. That's okay. If it is a little crooked, man, because they cut the, sp the sticker too big. Okay, so let's get this hooked up to a screen and let's see what it can do. Okay, we've got it some power. Now let's see what it's like whenever you power it up. Fourth anniversary, Neo Geo. It drops you right into the little menu there. Ooh, I like those sounds. Ooh, okay. So let's jump right in. I'm going to try and hold this at an angle so everybody can see what I'm doing here. Let's jump into some uh, metal, metal slug. Ooh, it's even got a little blue LED around the, uh, around the uh, joystick there. Ooh, copyright information. Ooh, let's check out the settings real quick. Okay, which one is it? There we go. We got our language. Sort by default. Brightness, volume. Nope, don't need 
Uh, where's Bebo? Okay. Alright, let's jump into some metal slot. Little loading screen. Now, one thing that I noticed about this whenever I was hooking it up is that the HDMI port isn't actually standard HDMI, it's HDMI mini, so keep that in mind. Well, that's a problem right away. is out of whack. I didn't notice that before. Okay, let's give it a try anyway. Mission one, start. Heavy machine gun. Okay, so that's Metal Slug. And I don't know if it's just the simple fact that I'm trying to play on the controls, like, up in the air, like it's a handheld portable, because, I mean, it is handheld and it is portable, but it's not like a Game Boy, like, this is meant to be sat down like this, and done like this. This may be something that I actually go and buy the second controller for, just to be able to play a little, little more cleanly, but for now, the controls on the arcade cabinet itself are perfectly fine. All right, so we tried Metal Slug. Let's try something else. Let's jump into some King of Monsters. I haven't played that in forever. Get him. All right, we're gonna go with the Godzilla Monster. You guys are right? American City. Okay, so enough of me getting my butt kicked at that. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more. Where's Garu? Come on. There we go. Garu, mock the wolves. Now, this was a game that was on the Dreamcast. It got ported over from the arcades. And this was a very good game. <laughs> right there since you know I've got a win under the belt <laughs> okay so now that the nostalgia is worn down a little bit let's let's be critical now there are this is a cute nice little mini system there are some issues however 
especially with this setup without the second controller. And we'll get into it. First off, I don't like the fact that the HDMI out is a mini. Mini just, why? Was it really more expensive to put a full-size HDMI port on it? Uh, I do like the fact that it has a three and a half millimeter stereo headphone jack. That's always a good addition. I love the fact that it's got the two controller ports on each side. I love the attention to detail. You've got the little Neo Geo emblems on the side. You've got the stickers for the marquee on the front. I like the LEDs on the joystick. I like the way the buttons fill in the unit itself. However, the stick, while a nice analog stick, doesn't really work for these kind of games. It's a little too soft. I had a little bit of trouble with Mark of the Wolves, especially trying to do combos. Like, it's not super responsive. It's not a micro switch controls, which is what it should have been. The buttons are fine, but I definitely would have changed the analog stick to a micro switch. Now for the selection of games, it's Neo Geo. It's mostly fighters, metal slug. As far as that's concerned, you really can't go wrong. If those are the kind of games that you grew up with and those are the kind of games that you like, this is a great little console and it's got a great selection of the Neo Geo games. However, with that said, you do have to be a fan of SNK and Neo Geo to get your money's worth out of this. If you don't absolutely love those games, you're going to get bored with this really fast. So then bottom line, do I recommend a buy? At $30? Absolutely. If you can find it for the price I found it, I would absolutely say pull the trigger on this, buy it for yourself. Even if it's something you play with a couple of times, it's $30. bucks. you will get that much enjoyment out of it. However, the more expensive versions, eh, especially for the collector market out there, there's so many different versions and so many different collections of games in this same unit. I would, however, suggest buying a unit with a secondary controller. I'm, that's the one regret I'm having right now because I feel like I would have enjoyed it more. Not to say that I didn't enjoy it. I just would have enjoyed it more had I had an actual separate controller. And to be fair, I'll probably pick one of those up. I think I saw them on Amazon going for like $15. So nothing that would be detrimental to pick up to use with this system to make it that much better. But that's all I've got for right now, guys. Thanks for tuning in. As always, like and subscribe for new videos. I'll catch you guys next time.